commanders, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and also ring that notification bell, to get notified on my latest videos. As always, let's get started shall we? Welcome comrades to today's unit review. This time, we are going to look at one of the most destructive Soviet anti-tank infantry in the game. The Rifle Grenadier Platoon. This unit consists of a platoon, made up of 8 soldiers. In fact, they have rifles with attached grenades onto it, making it effective in killing tanks or vehicles. Though before the Soviet faction was released in the game, these units tend to target also infantry. But that would be too overpowered, if it was implemented in the faction's update, and might cause some problems for the Wehrmacht and Osphere to counter it, especially since that there are little units in both factions, that are good at killing infantry with ease. And now, let's get on with the review shall we? First thing we are going to look at is its armament. As its primary armament, a VPG S41 rifle grenade is attached. Its main purpose is to destroy tanks and vehicles in numbers. Its damage to tanks at level 8 is 251, which is low. But, because the unit is a platoon, it can fire up to 8 grenades to the opposing tank or vehicle. Damage to vehicles is 279, which is much higher than the damage to tanks. And damage to buildings is 288. A lot of these could drain the enemy bunker's hit points by half or so. Range of the grenades is 5 to 11. That means it can't damage enemies which are close nor far to it. If the enemy is close to it, the platoon will walk backwards and fire once they are in range. But this will compensate the amount of soldiers in the platoon by decreasing it, because the tank slash vehicle is damaging it. Reload speed is 5 seconds. Not bad for this unit though. Also, it has a medium hit radius. So probably enemy units near the targeted tank, including infantry will be damaged by the grenades, or destroyed by it. This platoon would be defenseless, if their rifles are not for killing infantry so as their secondary armament, they have the Mosin Nagant. A well no rifle used widely in the Red Army. These rifles are also used as sniper rifles, by attaching scopes into it. Its damage to infantry is 47, small but gets the job done. Damage to tanks, vehicles, and buildings is much lower than, but though so these rifles are obsolete, when they are facing the three of these things. Attack speed for the rifle is 1 second, which is fair for itself. And lastly, rage for it is 11, the same as for its grenade attached to it. And now, let's look at its total amount of hit points. At level 8, it has 234 hit points in total. Since it is very little, it can be easily dealt with by enemy mortars or shells that can do a massive hit radius like the Star 42. And because it is a platoon, it consists of up to 8 soldiers in total. Since it is an elite unit, it can be spawned on all roads, which is an advantage for it. Speed is slow, so it can keep up with slow moving tanks for support. And now, let's move on what doctrine shall you use. The deep operational propaganda strategy are the two most reliable strategies for it. Both give bonuses to infantry. If you want to go for the most damage, then pick propaganda. But if you want to for faster attack speed, and more in numbers, then go for the deep operation strategy. Now moving on with that strategy's passive effects, you have the minus 20 reload speed for all infantry weapons, and a reset weapon reload cooldown once you used an active skill. Both of these skills can be effectively used when using the active skill deep attack. Active skills include bloody wave which may help your grenadier platoon fight longer and shock breakthrough, used only for Greek house or uncoordinated advance. And that's it for today's video. 
Make sure to join my Discord server in the description below, and follow my Twitter account for more videos. As always, I will see you next time, commanders. Like, comment, and subscribe to the video.